How'd the practice go? Got some good work done today. Worked on some situational things, and uh, we'll do the same tomorrow and get a little more situational kick in tomorrow. Who's going to be back there with uh, Dow out? Who's going to be alongside Golden on kickoff return? Harrison? Uh, Harrison and Jones uh, will get reps as a uh, kick returner. Is uh, Kyle Brown okay? Yeah, we uh, precautionary kept him out today. He'll, he should be back full go tomorrow. And is uh, Davidson getting close? I noticed he was padded up. Yeah, I think he'll be uh, good to go for this game. And then uh, doing something on uh, on LaFausse, I guess, was that the first biggest thing you had to do when you took over is go recruit a fullback? Yeah, it was one of the first things on our uh, priority list. And uh, we really feel we got the best one. And uh, he's an excellent student. He's an excellent kid. Comes from a great family, a football family. He's got brothers who played at Washington State. And uh, when we met the kid and got to know his family and his character, uh, we were sold on him. Uh, and then when you watch the film, not only was he a productive fullback as far as blocking and catching, this guy can run the ball too. He rushed for a lot of yards in high school. He's got a great knack for it. He's a rugby player, and I think that translates onto the field when you see his balance and, and vision and those type things. Is that from being from American Samoa? <laughs> you can ask him that one. <laughs> You think of him primarily, I mean, is his main job to block with just a few runs thrown in, or is it all? You know, again, we've, we've given him carries in certain situations, and uh, we really uh, we love his block, and he brings a total package at fullback. He did a great job on special teams. He was two of those guys that I talked about on those kickoff covers. Uh, he's just a good football player, and uh, we're excited about him. You know, you, got, you throw out an all-freshman backfield with him and Jones. It's two very talented young backs. And then uh, with with Jeffrey out, is he now your short yardage guy? Um, yeah, that'll that'll be split between him and him and Bell, and in fact, all of them run run the ball in short yardage. So, uh, but he'll yes, he'll he'll be heavy, uh, heavily favored in that package. I guess uh, when you guys first took over as a staff, is your first thought we need to go find a fullback? Yeah, uh, that was our deal. We needed to find a fullback. There wasn't one on campus. Uh, one of the coaches that was here before uh, knew of a family in uh, Seattle and. That's how we got Darren LaFosse. Is he a, a blocker who happens to run pretty well, or is he a runner who blocks pretty well? Or Well, he's all that. Uh, you know, he's got good feet. He can catch the football. He's a tough kid. He's got that size, six foot, 230-something, and uh, he's got really good vision. How exciting is that to see a freshman kind of break loose like that the other last game? Well, you know, I knew the kid had it in him because in high school he was a 1,300-yard rusher. Uh, he transferred to a high school where they really didn't use him. You know, that's good for us. But I uh, knew he could run the ball. Uh, he got his opportunity when those other two guys went down. And, uh, hey, we're, we're pleased. See the short yardage guy now? Well, he's short yardage, long yardage. You didn't see that 50-something yard, 30-something <laughs> yard run? <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Talk about uh, UTSA's offense. Uh, they have a pretty good offense. You know, they're real, uh, I say, blue collar, you know. They like to do everything right, and they have a, a couple different uh, packages that they like to run. And uh, you know, they, they, that personnel is is pretty much the key. So we have we have to always uh, know where that playmakers are at all times. I guess the first week you knew you were playing a team that's going to run the ball. Last week, the team you knew was going to pass it. Are they a little more balanced? Does that present some? Yeah, I say they're, they're pretty they're pretty much a balanced team. Uh, you know, they got. Like I said, their playmakers are in the backfield and that receiver. So as long as we locate them, you know, we, we can we can we can have a head start on what they're going to do. And uh, they, their quarterback's real sufficient. You know, he, he's a, a pretty good uh, rhythm thrower. So uh, you know, we just got to get him out there rhythm and just make him feel uncomfortable. Does it start with stopping the run or stopping the pass? It start, starts with executing uh, overall, you know, because like I said, they're, they're a pretty balanced team. So, you know, if we was to stop the run, they're going to, you know, pass more. If we stop the pass, they're going to run more. So it's, it's just about executing on all, all areas of the, of the game, you know, from uh, our D-line back to our safeties. How much uh, momentum do you guys have after the last three and a half quarters that New Mexico State game? Uh, you know, you know it, 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 at the end of the day, you know, New Mexico State is over with. So, you know, we're, we've only been focused on UTSA for now. So, uh, you know, we'll see how the momentum goes as, as far as the course of, the, of this game. You know, is, is a, you know how football season goes, how football game goes, you know, momentum could just switch from either side at any moment. So, you know, New Mexico State, you know, that was a good, a good team win, but at the end of the day, that's over with now we're on UTSA.
What's uh What's the key to stopping UTSA? Uh, the key to stopping UTSA would have to be we have to uh, pay attention to our keys because they do a lot of shifts and motions, and everybody has to know their job. We're gonna have to communicate in the back end and to the front, so everybody can know what they're doing, so we can you know catch on to the shifts and, and all the motions and, and stop the uh, run game in the past. I guess the first team you played in New Mexico, you knew they were going to run it, run it, run it. You figured New Mexico State probably passed it. Are they a little more balanced, UTSA? Yeah, they're, they're a lot more balanced. But I think they're going to go um, more to the to the pass this week because, uh, I don't know, basically their receivers, they've been uh, been doing pretty good on the other team. So I'm thinking they're going to go to the, to the air this week. Can you guys build on that momentum from the last three and a half quarters of NMSU? Oh, yes, sir. We can take. We can, uh, we're just gonna take that and keep on keep on rolling with it because it gave us a lot of confidence to build on. What was the key to playing so well there after the slow start? Um, just just doing our job and, and slowing down and, and paying attention to uh, our responsibilities and reading our keys. That was uh that was mostly the gist of, of the whole thing. We just had to slow down and concentrate.